it's Leah here. This week on Roundtable Replay, I'm recommending an episode from Work Life with Adam Grant called The Perils of Following Your Career Passion. So why did this podcast stand out to me? You know, initially when I was listening to this episode, I was thinking, ah, this is not relevant. This is not going to work for my replay. This is only for early career folks. I realized, though, on reflection that there really might be broader applicability, which is why I'm bringing it to you. You know, often at Roundtable, we have leaders who are mid-career and they might be kind of thinking, is my work aligned with my passion? They might be wondering, should they do something else? They may be in what we sometimes call the career doom loop and are looking to really disrupt themselves and shake up their career. They might be looking for a new calling. And so on this podcast, they examine career callings and you know, why following your passion could be some of the worst advice you ever get. You know, what they say is that the thing about passions is we often settle on them when we're young and there's a danger in getting locked in. You know, most of the time, early passions are not necessarily the best guide to later career. And sometimes setting sights on a passion gives you a bit of myopia, a bit of tunnel vision. Uh, You focus in on it and then maybe lose sight of broader interests. So the podcast discusses really developing passion versus following it. And, you know, the following your passion um, path really reflects a fixed mindset, which is what we've, we've discussed a number of times on replay, fixed mindset versus growth mindset. A fixed mindset is assuming that your interests are going to be stable. And, you know, sometimes if people don't immediately enjoy a field or task, for them, that writing is on the wall, it's going to be their passion But the podcast goes further to say, maybe this is a mistake. You don't quit the moment you don't like a job. Passion grows over time. So that's the growth mindset um, concept. So, you know, what was really interesting was when the notion that when people blindly follow passion, again, they're less likely to consider other areas of interest, less likely to anticipate difficulties. And when they run into obstacles, more likely to lose interest and, and give up. I loved the section where they talked about passion as a consequence of effort, not just a cause. Um, So it was, again, the connection to growth mindset. Reinforcing traits and abilities are not fixed. They're developed over time, just in the same way you're developing passions over time. So they did a study of entrepreneurs and when they might not have been excited about their startups at a certain point in time, but they put the time in anyway and became enthusiastic over it. Their passion grew as they made progress. So, you know, something to consider and worth a listen if you or someone on your team is looking at, you know, trying to figure out where they're at with their career passions. Um, You know, my coaching tip is looking at how you can grow your interests and put more effort into it versus blindly following, you know, I want to be a writer or whatever the passion might be. You know, so that's my podcast recommendation for this week. And I will be coming to you again with another roundtable replay. Happy listening and bye for now.